Now we're lucky enough to be joined in the studio with Kill Dirty Youth. How are you guys? Not too bad. What was the last name of that song? Hank Williams is gone. Yep. Cheeky. Cheeky. Hey guys, how are you? Yeah, pretty pretty good. Good. That's the way. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, Did we just want to go around to introduce yourselves and tell everyone what you do in the band? Yep. Uh, start off with Tony. Uh, yeah, I'm Tony. Um, I'm the guitarist and lead vocalist. Hi, I'm Joey. I play bass guitar. Hey, I'm b b b b b b Benjamin. Sorry, um, I play guitar and do a bit of vocals, sort of, you know. I'm Louie and I play drums. Skins, baby. Awesome. Now, you guys moved down to Melbourne um, just a couple of weeks ago. How are you guys settling in? Yeah, good. No, um, we seem to be picking up some shows pretty quick, so that's good. And got a nice little apartment we all live in in St Kilda, so it's tight, but it, you know, yeah. it's good. It's good fun. We love Melbourne. Um, yeah, like Tony said, we've been able to hook up a few shows since we've been here, probably three weeks now. We've played six shows and we've got a few more coming up, which we'll let you all know, oh, we'll let you know about a little bit later on in the show. And um, yeah, other than that, like you said, we've got a little apartment that we're in now and um, we've met some other people who play music and stuff. So no, we're loving it. It's, it's pretty cool. So what actually inspired the big move? You guys are originally up from New South Wales, so what inspired the move down here? Because where we live sucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the music scene in Newcastle, it's pretty much just hardcore bass. So we're pretty much just getting shows with hardcore bands, which is kind of like... Over and over again. Yeah. You yeah. just get sick of having the same crowd that are like so closed-minded. Yeah, so. you know, you got a whole bunch of people uh, when we play, they're up the back of the rooms, arms folded and everything, and then as soon as their favourite band comes on, next minute you're getting punched in the face. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. But yeah, and so, so yeah, I guess that is probably the main reason just to uh, see if we could try to make a name for ourselves down here because we'd been trying and trying in Newcastle and around them areas and it, you know, it just wasn't happening. We'd been trying there for at least, we played. Like two, three years. Yeah, yeah we were trying. So yeah, we just moved down here, um, you know, a better scene, more opportunity and whatever else. I so. think um, our closest show to home now is the vineyard and it wouldn't even be a kilometre down the street where <laughs> we had to like travel 95 kilometres to get to Newcastle to play to five people who didn't care so yeah, it's pretty cool to just be like hey we're playing over there tonight <laughs> <laughs> and throw a rock and hit it from yeah. that place yeah definitely uh, you've been busy the three weeks that you've been here you played a bunch of shows yeah. uh, how's that, how have they all been? yeah good we're all you know we're starting to get a little bit of a crowd going you know a couple of familiar faces at some of the shows and I think a lot of people um, don't expect us to be and sound like what we are when we play and mm. because you know no one's really heard us as of yet down here so I think a lot of people kind of get taken back and like oh like you know. We're very quiet before we hop on the stage like we sort of uh, like just hang around we make sure we're there to watch all of the other people play as always but then when we hop on stage I think yeah there's a lot of I've seen the same look on people's heads yeah. at shows yeah. that I've seen this for the first time they're like and a few of them people have been back and they're the ones that are jumping around and stuff so that means a lot and if there's any of you out there that are hearing this thanks very much for coming right. it means a lot <laughs> so you've obviously spoken about that you played at like a few venues so far which one's kind of been your standout gig in the six that you've done or like favourite venue to kind of get, that you want to get one. back to the vineyard yeah. both the vineyard shows they're just sick they're sick and it's uh, pretty random for us because we the earliest we've played at the vineyard is 1am <laughs> so <laughs> both times and it's just such a little stage we can't even fit all of our gear and ourselves on the stage like you know but it, it, we just have a great reception down there so far and um you know more and more people seem to have an interest um in us and we just get great feedback and you know it's more like we have people come up and um real surprising for us and like your performance like they're out yeah. blown away by just how we are like our performances on stage so it's normally we get complimented on our music or the style of music a comparison but usually it's a comparison and it, it like whoever it is it doesn't really matter and we appreciate everyone coming up and you know saying oh we think you guys sound like this and that but yeah. it's really cool to get someone come up and go dude you just put on a show full stop like yeah like we had a whole bunch of people last show do that and that like i was really that made me really 
really happy. Yeah. You know, I'd have people actually not not just there for the music, but for you know the effort and energy we all put in to our playing. And pretty cool if anyone's he- like hearing this, it's like I wonder what they're talking about. Definitely come down. We'll announce as I said before. We have a few shows coming up, and we'll announce that before the end of the show too. So mm. sounds like the moves definitely paying off then. Oh yeah. 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 yeah as you mentioned. Um, Play, played at the vineyard but um last week you actually played two shows um on the one day which is like pretty unheard of like around here because uh, yeah. h- how was that experience well we played <laughs> <laughs> where we play first we, we started off at the tote and like it was heaps unorganized we had to yeah. s- do all the sound ourselves had to be the door people ourselves and everything which is i mean i don't mean to interrupt yeah. sorry joe but i mean i guess around here that's sort of the norm you bring your own sound man you bring your own door man now we're not used to that so we didn't try to organize any before we came and we pretty much just played to the other people who were playing and one or two friends but it was still pretty cool upstairs the tote um um, the Totes a pretty cool place to play but then the second show was yeah. the Vineyard I'm pretty sure it's called and yeah it just rocks like I don't know it's just because it's so small maybe and everyone's had a fair few drinks after <laughs> you know a certain amount of time so they're all loose and into it and yeah, maybe that's why they like us so much <laughs> now you've released your debut studio EP uh, We're Living Off Dog Food and we're going to hear one of the tracks off it right now we're, we're playing Alternative Down what's the story behind that track? It's just a random song. Alternative <laughs> down, yeah. There's no stories. We tried this story, the whole, the whole story thing to one of our other songs, Junk, and I think we actually just made up the most bullcrap you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot, eh? But really, a lot of the songs we yeah. write, um, so uh, sort of Tony writes the words, so they might have a different meaning to him, but it's pretty much, I don't know, I just try and think to myself that I'm pretty smart for a second, and like, I, I'll, I'll try and write, <laughs> write a song that sounds cool, and then after it, I'm like, I don't know. I just end up giving up. Really, I think the meaning <laughs> behind every song we write is just to have as much, you know, much of a sick time as we can while we play the song. Yeah. If it's not feeling like that, then we'll probably change the song if someone's not having a good time. So. Yeah. yeah. But that's yeah, so another story, really. Well, sweet. Uh, you're listening to Loud Noises in the Mosh Pit on Sin with Luke and Chloe. We've got Kill Dirty Youth in the studio at the moment, and yeah. this is one of their tracks, Alternative Down. You're hanging out on Loud Noises in the Mosh Pit on Sin with Gloria Luke and the boys from Kill Dirty Youth. And that track you just heard was their song Alternative Down. Sweet. Now I've, you guys l- released the We're Living Off Dog Food EP in April. Um, how's it been? It's been interesting. Like, we love... Well, I, I personally re- really like it and really happy with it. And I really... One big aspect for me is the artwork, the cover, which you may have seen. We've slapped yeah, up really cool. countless it posts. Really something. cool. <laughs> but um, we haven't been able to get hard copies yet due to we're pretty much broke. so broke. <laughs> Literally living off dog food. Yeah, like, pretty sure those Mexican fried beans smelt like dog yeah. food. I was like, this is way too far. Like. But no, um, in terms of are we happy with it and how are we liking it, it's it's really great and I just wish we could promote it with hard copies we just need to sort of save the funds up we've written if you want to donate feel free yeah, yeah anyone out there want to donate yeah they <laughs> are well you can buy them um, actually the only way you can get a copy at the moment is on our band camp site which is Um but yeah so once we get the funds as we say we can't wait to get some hard copies done because we've already got the whole insert of the album back cover front cover all ready to go it's just yeah just the funding's a bit harsh at the moment not to mention we've written a lot since then so we're like i feel i can't talk about the other boys but personally i feel as though it's like i've drawn a line in the sand (laughs) where it's like no matter where we are at this point i'm coming back to release this yeah (laughs) yeah because it has to see the light of day properly yeah yeah, it's only on the internet now but um yeah you can check it out so yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. We did actually want to talk about the artwork. You can jump on the band camp and have a look at the picture if you do want to see it. But um, kind of what's the deal with it? What's the story behind it? Who's locked kind of it up? Yeah, well, I was, um, you know, just looking, trying to look for artists and stuff like that on Google. And so I just punched in um, punk rock artwork. And, um, yeah, this guy came up and he was the real, that cartoon kind of style and everything. His name is Sean um, Dickinson. Explain the picture that we all see 
scene that we were like, that's one, the one with the... Oh, right. Well, yeah, the first, the first one I saw was kind of like a cat figure, kind of almost like the real old Mickey Mouse like drawing with a gun tied to an old record player, like shooting itself in the head. And um, it was But like it was party. just like the way the colours worked and just his style and everything. And um, I really enjoyed it. And so I looked up more of his work and like, I mean, it's not all oh, that's the only kind of yeah. picture like that that I've seen. He does a lot of like rockabilly style yeah. of drawings and um yeah so i just emailed him and i was like you know hey we're from australia you know we're just a, a band like do you do art like for bands or anything and you know so he was like yeah sure and um we just gave him a rough copy of the uh ep before it was properly mastered and everything and kind of said well here's yeah. the songs like you know just go with whatever you feel like and then he came back about a week and a half later with the yeah. cover and was and like how about this and we all dug it so I think it was really cool how we just handed him sort of our input which was our music and we didn't really have too much in mind of what we wanted except we knew that we liked his artwork so we kind of just put it all in his yep. you know position or court or whatever and said you know let's see how you go and he came up with that and when Tony showed me that thinking oh dude <laughs> that's so <laughs> sick but like, I was just as happy as probably anyone else was so it was, yeah. it was cool yeah it definitely looks really cool that was your debut like studio EP you've released a couple of demos beforehand but what was it like uh, in the recording process oh it was fantastic you know it was just such like every other thing we've recorded has been in Lewis's um attic at his old house back where we used to live and uh you know just real like an inner phase kind of one mic like real like just we were the audio engineers yeah (laughs) (laughs) real like lo-fi well the quality actually wasn't that bad it was pretty good for a home job but um you know I'd actually go into somewhere that was ran properly by you know actually people who fully knew what they were doing and everything um Matt was fantastic yeah, and um just the fact too that our actual producer Matt um is blind oh, wow. who produced the whole album so he's um like you know he has his boards and his big monitors and everything and it's funny we'd sit there because his computer talks back to him and everything so he knows what he's doing and oh uh, we couldn't understand a word it was saying it was going that fast and he's sitting there turning knobs and knows where everything was and just an amazing musician himself oh, as well absolutely and amazing musician and just the watch the way he would you know maybe address like a mistake or something whereas you know I would see it on the screen try to find it and try to do something with that mistake Matt would hear it and then go back and back and he like we didn't play perfect on the album we didn't play like you know what I mean there were mistakes and when you when we hear it back we're like wow he really knows like he's a really good audio engineer what's the name of the studio SM Productions SM Productions down in Newcastle, Newcastle or up in if Newcastle. anybody's looking yeah up <laughs> yeah, anyone, anyone's yeah. looking up if yeah. anybody's interested up that way or he's going up that way and wants to record some music SM Productions Matt, Matt McLaren. McLaren yeah Matt McLaren check it out yeah. definitely worth it yeah, um, so you obviously did say you have been working on some more stuff and we saw it um, on your Facebook a little preview teaser mm. of a song so kind of what's the like next musical move for you guys I don't even know we've just got like, <laughs> s- like probably like 10 plus songs that we've written since like the AP so I, I yeah. think um, always trying to work on ourselves uh, sort of musically sort of trying to make sure we're always improving um, a lot of the newer songs seem to have it's not just 4-4 four, four structure you know there's a lot of timing changes and um, it's a lot more harmonising going on between me and Tony and I guess just trying to always keep it moving forward instead of being happy with where we're at because yeah I, and I like a, a lot of songs as well it's like I know I, I guess in a way that we have a sound but then our sound is kind of always changing because every song sounds different yeah. in a sense like and uh, I guess it's just a style like because we're alternative musicians and alternative bands so it's like you know I don't know we don't kind of just listen to one band or one style and go all yeah. right like we're gonna make a record that's like that style or anything you know we, we everyone in this band has creativity freedom so it's pretty much we all chuck four ideas into a pot and it's you go from I, from yeah, there kind I think of thing that's a lot of where the new sort of like all our new songs uh when you hear them it's got a taste of everybody yeah so there's a lot different of influences stuff. when so. i joined the band no you also did when i joined the band i was just pretty much playing what he had written or what the boys had written and i feel as though over the past year 
year we've really been like when a song comes to be like we'll practice in the lounge room with no amps and you know who is just taps on the lounge and stuff which is cool we tap on the lounge <laughs> non-stop we all sit there and tap on the lounge with our drumsticks we feel sorry for the people that live below yeah. us <laughs> but so yeah where we're going musically is everybody in like everybody here sort of has an input on the song so yeah as I said it's four completely different influences mm. chucked into one thing and you know we just all work together to make it our sound I guess so keep it as interesting as possible and you know Definitely. kind of make it not predictable yeah not predictable <laughs> as it, not that it was but yeah anyway yeah. awesome now you def- you've also got like a bunch of shows coming up in the future as well um, if people want to go and see you guys w- w- um, what's coming up yeah well we we have a few <laughs> shows um jay you want to tell them about it dude we had to write them down got I tomorrow night <laughs> the retreat hotel and that starts at 10 o'clock we're playing with i need you then on wednesday the 27th we're playing the bendigo hotel and that starts at 9 p.m with a bunch of different bands that was sick and thursday the 4th of september at the boney it's new to us yeah we've never heard of that place we, we got but that we're playing this there. morning so we don't really mm. know where that is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that starts at nine like as well it. and on september 11 Ooh. At the vineyard again. Rough gonna kill it. It'll be sick. The vineyard, September 11th. Really looking forward to the vineyard yeah. again. Oh, and Cherry Bar every yeah, Monday. Yeah. We are. Oh, so we head down mic. there. Yeah, we play the open mic pretty much every week down at the Cherry Bar just to try and meet new faces and which and new bands happened. and stuff. Which yeah, which it's a bit of a free practice as well. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's pretty> <laughs> at the very <laughs> worst, you know, there there might only be five or six people there but um, if it, even if it is like that it's a practice and if it's not like we've met a couple of people there you know who play music themselves that can help us out and we can help them out and cool place ACDC Lane it's hard to park down there if anyone's ever tried to drive a car down there <laughs> <laughs> basically don't fit but anyway <laughs> Bonnie so everyone has a bunch of chances to catch you guys play and the rate you're booking shows is probably going to be a lot more. So um, uh, yeah, everyone absolutely. can just you, uh, YouTube, facebook.com forward slash Kill Dirty Youth and keep up to date with all the shows that yeah. they'll be booking. For yeah. sure. We uh, will be putting all the shows up there and you'll be able to find all the links to our other stuff off that page too. So check us out on Facebook. And I'm sure you'll probably see some posters around up and the around city. the city if yeah. they don't get ripped. <laughs> <laughs> quick story. Get in real quick. We were putting a few posters up the other day and one of the council members sort of come up as we are putting a poster up like on a main corner and he's just like oh, I'm going to have to ask you to stop and while we were telling him we were going to stop we just kept taping this thing to the bottom, like, <laughs> <laughs> use so much tape and we're like alright dude see ya and then as we're walking down the street if you're listening to this dude I'm sorry probably not um, yeah we looked away and we had a good laugh about it it was good because he was sitting there struggling trying to find the end of the clear tape which is just <laughs> impossible it was funny have to amuse yourself somehow <laughs> awesome and, and yeah there we're living off dog food EPs up on their band camp let me check that out if you want to listen back to today's interview uh, keep your eyes out on syn uh, syn.org.au uh, we've got one last track to play from the EP this is um, Blackout you've been listening to our interview with Kill Dirty Youth and this is Loud Noises on the Mosh Pit on Send. you you <laughs>